Hi everybody, welcome to the next Going Beyond Mentorship video where I give you some of my top insights and tips that are up and that I'm using with my clients. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to make sure that your idea, your product, your platform actually speaks to all people. So people unlike you. So obviously, sometimes we create products or experiences that really are to serve one community. An example, one of my mentorship clients, she has a platform to motivate women of color to be emotionally open, literate, processed, um, and, and open with who they are emotionally. And that is clearly meant for women of color. But many of us create spaces that we think actually resonate or feel safe for everyone when actually they don't. So the question is, how do you know? How do you know who resonates with your idea? And while there might not be an ultimate guarantee, <clears throat> there's a couple of things that can really help you think it through. So the first part is your own commitment. And you know, you guys, I think a lot of people like to think that they have everyone in mind, but it's a deeper soulful commitment. So I would like you all to take some time when you're thinking about your work and really meditate on your commitment to serve all people, if that's really what it's for. Um, you also have to be curious. So if you've never read books by authors of color, people of different religions and backgrounds and from different places on the planet, you need to open up your library. You need to follow accounts on Instagram that are of different influencers from different backgrounds. Um, these are things that you need to consciously expose yourself to varied perspectives. This is not something that can be forced. This is a natural inquisitive space that you need to consistently show up for. So there's amazing magazines out there, platform sites, read, expose yourself, watch films, start to develop more language that resonate with people that are different than yourself. So that's a big one. The second one is you have to consciously bring people of varied backgrounds onto your team, into your mentorship group, to your friendship circle. So let's say you write um, a page for your website on something that you want to sell. Have somebody who's different than you review, review your language and ask them, does this resonate for you? Would you want to come here? Do you feel like you're being included in this invitation? So this is a big one. Create a circle. That's what I want to say. Create a circle around yourself of people different than you and let them review your work. This is another big one and related. And this is one I'm personally always thinking about and working on. When you have a hire coming up, whether that's a marketing person, a copywriter, a social media person, bring people of diverse backgrounds onto your team. And this is a way that you're not only empowering varied communities through their work, but you're starting to bring other voices into your work to make sure you don't fall into that rabbit hole, that place where you think that you're creating safe spaces for all people, but actually you're just you and you only know your own experience. So you have to bring in the perspectives of others. So I have so much more to say about this, but this is something I'm really passionate about working on with my mentorship clients to make sure that they are opening up a kaleidoscopic perspectives on their platforms so all people can feel seen, heard, recognized, and safe. This is a time for our platforms to come from that place. Our planet needs this work and people are demanding it. So are you ready to show up for it? Thanks for watching.